Hi, it's Miss Trowbridge. I wanted to show you all uh, just really quick um, how to log into Clever and then how to log out and then log back in as another student, especially for our, our families who have multiple children with one device, specifically the iPad. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have Google Chrome, which is this lovely app right here. After you have that, if you don't have it, you can download. You can go to your self-service. It looks like this funny looking, um, kind of like a, I don't know, just a square with red, blue, yellow, and um, green. You should be able to install it um, if it's not there. Most of our students do have this already. So you're gonna tap into Chrome, and then right, here you're going to then tap and spell out clever so you're going to say c l e v e r and then tap the blue button that says go and you should get to this page now i'm going to give my little dot because it's a, sometimes a little bit easier to see um, there's a little place right here that says clever login you're going to tap on that one okay if you've never been to it, it's going to look similar to this, and it says login, search for your school. So you're going to type in B E L L S space H I L L. And after you have that, the very first option here should say Bells Hill Elementary. And then you just tap on it, and then you should see Waco ISD. Then tap on the G. If you've never logged in, yours isn't gonna have as many as mine. It's gonna look more like this once you um, get to the main screen. And it should already have at student.wacoisd.org. You're gonna tap in that blue box, tap on S, then you're gonna type your student ID number, whatever your child's ID number is. So I'm going to type in a number And then you're going to hit return or the blue button next. If you've been in here before, it's going to say welcome. Then the password is for everybody is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tap on the word go. If you've never logged in, it might look like this. You just tap accept, just hit the blue button. And then it will log you in, okay? This is the teacher's place. Just know that if you're going to go to like Imagine Math, then you need to make sure that you have that on your iPad. Um, Smart Ants usually goes through a website, but a lot of these, if you don't already have the app, sometimes you might have a little difficulty getting to there. Sometimes you also tap on that first one, which is the teacher's page. This is Ms. Caballero's page. Thank you, Ms. Caballero. Um, and these are some of the apps that they use most frequently is what you'll see. So after you get your child in, they're doing what they're doing, finish whatever they're supposed to do. Then up at the very top corner, you'll see your child's name. You're gonna tap on that, then tap on log out. And it'll take you back to the screen, okay? Now you should be able to log back in as another child, one of the other children from the you're using the device for. So you'll go back to this one with the G, tap on the G. If they've already logged in before, you're gonna see their name here. So like I've logged in as several people um, on my iPad, so you see a dot for every single person. If they've not logged in before, at the very bottom it says, use another account. So you'll tap on that. Then you'll log in again. So I'm gonna log in as another kid another student on our campus. You'll just hit return. I had to type it again, I typed it wrong. And then you just type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you hit the go button and it's there again. If you have any questions, you can find me on Facebook through our Bells Hill Facebook site or call that number that is on the help paper or you can even email me. Okay, thank you.